In our last lesson, we talked about panels. And I showed you how you can expand panels and undock or remove these panels from the dock to kind of customize your workspace. InDesign CS5 contains a number of workspaces or predefined workspaces that you can use and you can also predefine your own workspace that you want to use. Up here at the top, just to the right of the menu bar, we have uh, something called the Essentials, which is the default workspace when you install InDesign. And if I expand that, here we'll see that we have an interactive workspace. If I select from the drop down, we have interactive for PDF. So if I'm going to be working with interactive PDFs, and a lot of us do here at CB Richard Ellis, we create interactive PDFs from our documents within InDesign. How great is this? If I select interactive for PDF, I have hyperlinks, bookmarks, buttons, media, and preview. Now, all of a sudden, creating interactive PDFs here in InDesign is something fun and easy to do. And I'm sure that we're going to start using that a lot here at CB. So, uh, we also have uh, new in CS5, which is going to bring up all the new panels. So we can take a look at the new rich features here in InDesign CS5. Take advantage of those. We also have printing and proofing. So here we have flattener preview. Uh, trap presets. We also have typography. So this is going to bring up our story, our hyperlinks, effects, stroke, gradient, uh, glyphs. Now I'm going to go back to essentials. And you may notice that when I came back to essentials, it defaulted to the way that I moved it around. But I didn't save this. So if I exit InDesign and reopen it, the essentials palette is going to look the exact same way as it did when I first installed CS5. So how do we prevent that? Well, one way that we can do that is to come up to the flyout menu and click on new workspace. And here I can call this Stevens workspace and then click OK. So now I've got my default workspace and any time that I come into InDesign, I can select that or I can go back to the essentials. Now notice here because I haven't closed out InDesign, my essentials is the same. But thankfully, InDesign lets us reset any workspace that we're in that we might have customized. So this is one way that we can use or take advantage of the many workspaces that InDesign has. And remember, you can save yourself a lot of time if you predefine your workspaces before you start working on whatever collateral you're going to work on. So predefine those, save your custom workspaces, and when you start your day in the morning, you can select it, and it will be just the way you left it, and you are ready to go.